Yes, there is. It's like a pleasure and pain situation. The pleasure of observing such a marvelous view from this mountain as we continually progress higher and higher, offsetted by the pain of having to walk up these blasted steps in the first place. So we had uh, a bite to eat before we set off to fill ourselves up to prepare us for the trip. Nice and hearty rabbit stew with extra chunky vegetables to keep us warm in these cold climate. Yes. Come on. I am so tempted just to one day walk up these steps and count them and see if there is actually 5,000 or have a help. However many they purported to have. Is it raining? Oh, you have me a laugh, aren't you? Talk about ruining my fun. I wanted to just take my time. <laughs> oh. A marked difference from when I first came here. It must have taken me all of about three minutes to put a frost to put a frost troll down. Now I just. Poop, 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 poop. Job done. You can see all. You can see Elwyn, you know, clapping his hands together as if he's shaking off a bit of dirt. Yes, all in a day's work. Come on, Marina. I know it's hard working up these steps, but it's going to be worth it. I tell you, I, I, I can quite assure you. In fact, I think I might move a little bit quicker now that it's raining. I'm not a big fan of uh, downpours. What on earth? I don't recall it being so treacherous the first time round. Blooming ice wraiths and ice trolls and bears. Is this that pilgrim again? I thought it was another pilgrim. It's actually a mountain goat. Come on, we're almost there, I'm sure. We're about halfway, is that about halfway up? It's a bit misty this morning, it's sort of spoiling the view, but it's, it, I can still see see a little bit. Ah, it's nice. It's hard work, but it's nice. And up again, and then down some more steps, and then up again. It's like it's teasing me, you know? You get to a downhill path and you think, oh, a bit of a, a bit of respite, and then another uphill section. It's like, oh my god, no. Reminds me of my high Hadrian's Wall. It was uh, pretty much like this. There was an uphill, plenty of uphill sections, a few downhill bits as well. But then it seems after every downhill section, got to the bottom of the hill, and then there's a massive uphill climb, as if it's teasing you. You thought you had it easy, and now we're going to stick the biggest hill you've ever climbed up right in front of you. Don't worry, Belina. This is 3,823 steps thus far. Not long to go. Is this another frost troll? That's right. Oh, it is. Look, it's having a little paddy. Did I nick your little sweeties? Hey? Oh, jump down. He must be angry. Temper tantrum like a five year old child who didn't get his own way. I want to play football! Ugh, oh, stuck. 
Hey, we're almost there. I remember this bit. I remember now. I'm remembering, yes. Is, is this the right way? Have I come off the path? I think I may have done. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> A minor detour. I thought it was just around the corner from this point on, but uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm uh, mistaken. Oh, look, another... Oh, look at that! Another grand view. Have I been to this barrow before? This looks rather familiar. Yes, I have. It's the Bleak Falls Barrow, which means Riverwood must literally just be in a little nook down there. Wow, we've come full circle, full circle eh? Oh, my favourite adventure music. How appropriate. It's a sign that we are almost there. It is here to soothe my legs. To move that little bit faster. As, a, as, a, as our destination looms ever closer. Ah, look at that. We have the water. In fact... Yeah, that's the big lake area, I think. And we walked up this path. Riverwood is somewhere down in this little nook here. That's where the windmill is. I, yeah, there, there's the houses, you see. In fact, over there, somewhere around about there, is where that sunken, uh, that sunken ruin was. Can't remember why we went there, but uh, we went there for some kind of quest. The ruins that were half submerged in the water. Well, it's still raining, but observing such a marvelous sight from up here, it's sort of. Uh, Made me forget about the rain, really. You know, I'm not one. I'm not a lover of getting wet, as you know. But uh, the view is uh, taking my mind off the dampness, the dreariness, the drab. And finally, with these last few steps, we reach our destination. I love how they even have a few extra steps just to the doors. Just, you know, it's as if you haven't climbed up enough steps. They couldn't put the entrance down there. No, they had to have a few more just to give your legs that extra burning sensation. But alas, we're here anyway. We made it. And more importantly, we made it with the horn of Jürgen Winkoller. It has been probably about eight weeks since we were last here. And as I said, the great beards have probably been sat prostrate praying the entire time. Whereas I have been enjoying myself. Mostly. Yes, you may notice I don different robes now. But I have what you sent me out to get. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wink. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Formally? You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. Which means push. Push. Da. Huh? How do I do that? Out is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Oh, don't you worry, Buster. I'll be using it wisely, all right. <sighs> Feel the power, baby. We would speak to you. 
Speak away. And between us, prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards. But you are ready. You think so? Oh! Through the gates, aren't I? No fucking. Whoa, that was a big, big bloody blundering noise. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Okay, thank you. But what, what exactly was what happened just then? What were you shouting at? What were you saying? We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar, before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. And what did you actually say? I couldn't understand. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shor, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, a dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Ah, okay. I've got a question for you. Some dragons, I've, I've witnessed it with my own eyes, dragons rising from graves. Why do you think they're returning? What's going on? No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on owning your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Okay, well then I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. Too quickly? It's been ten weeks since I must be here. There are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh my god, how many? Have I read all this before? Okay, come on. Have you looked at it anymore? I've found a few word walls of power. I've learned a few new shouts, in fact, since I was last here. On my own steed. But, uh, do you know of any other locations of words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Greywater Gorge. Excellent. Another word of power. Okay. Um, when can I meet your leader? Path, no. Path, path, the next. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Oh, bloody cryptic messages. Sky. Well, how will I know when that is? How will I know, old man? How will I bloody know? Jesus, wept. I came all this way and that's what I get? Riddles? I'm so desperate, Berlina, to shout something with my new unrelenting force. Come on, let's go, quickly. Quickly, please. Oh, 
It's still raining. Oh, surprise, surprise. I wouldn't have been in there for about 10 minutes. Okay, so here we are. We have, we have uh, well, we have learnt. We have learnt to complete our unrelenting force. Which means I'm going to have to find me a victim <laughs> to see how this works in its most refined form. However, we have come to the end of today's session, so we'll have to wait until next time for that excitement. So, uh, as I look to my quest log... If it lets me... Come on! Just bear with me, this is annoying. Right, okay, there we go. My quest log! My quest log is open. Now, uh, where, first of all, I'm just going to find out where this Grey Water Gorge is. Let's have a look on the map. Is it anywhere near? Thunderstone Gorge. Is it anywhere on the en route to Markaf, perhaps? Where's Markaf? Markaf is over here. We're probably going to walk probably somewhere down about there. So I think we could stop off at uh, Thunderstone Gorge. Learn a new shout before we get to Marka. I think that's a, a reasonable thing to assume. Is that right? Is that where it is? It's not. It doesn't seem to be appearing on my map. But let's have a let's have a wee look here. Yeah, it's pointing there, isn't it? Okay, so that might be a, 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 something to to look at en route to Markaf, because that's where we're going next. We are going to Markaf, as stated a few videos ago. We're going to complete any quests around there, and we're going to meet that uh, author, that famous author who's written The Dwarves Volume 1, 2, and 3, and marvel in the Dream Architecture. So once we've uh, left Hi Rothgar, we're probably going to pop off to Whiterun briefly to sell any excess wares that we don't need. And then, we're going to go to Markath, on foot, so that we can go to the uh, Sunderstone Gorge on the way. So join me next time for that. See you soon.